penalty. Well, back is Houle. Hits his wingman. Shot doesn't make the net. Kept in by number two. That's Barbaro. We talked about him. Shot saved by Tempest. Another nice save as he sprawled across the net and was able to make a good save. So hard. And kept a nice check in the corner. They battle for the puck. Scrumming on the corner there, trying to, somebody's trying to break out with it. Gostown does. And here they come. Out, giving chase. There's D. He curls, looks to his, that's number 29. Cam Blaisdell off to, to, off to Jeremy. Nice little play at the blue line. Over to Blaisdell, takes a shot, rebound. Oh, there's a score. nice little play. That was a nice little play. Let's go to the replay, Steve, and uh, tell us what you what we have. Well, we saw our, uh, Jeremy bringing that puck in the zone, get tied up by the defender, and the puck would just seem to be loose right there. Nobody was going after it. He taps it forward off to Cam Blaisdell. Cam Blaisdell takes a nice shot, deflected and slowed down, and it slowed down just enough for, for Brett Veyu to pick up that loose puck and just dance it around and, and dangle it around the goal. Get it back to D, D to Viola. Top circle, fakes a shot, gives it to Gagliotti, over to D, and plays a centering pass up in the air. It looks like it got tipped. I think Gagliotti's gonna come out with it. Over to Viola, one time shot. Oh Doesn't boy, make the net. that there was a real nice shot right there. Nice I, like this, uh, I like this setup from uh, Bedford with Chris Viola at the top. He's a real good control, puck control guy at the top. And you got to, obviously he's got a nice shot from the point as well with a good hard slap shot. So now Gagliotti fires it up. His Viola, nice little long distance pass there. His D comes in, shot, score. Oh boy, that was a what nifty a nice goal shot right D. there by Mike D. As as he caught Janesse a little too deep in his crease here. And let's go to the replay, Steve, and explain what we have. Well, we saw uh, a change of the lines by Goffstown and Patrick Gagliardi picking up on that, sending a nice long stretch pass to Viola at the blue line. Gains the blue line, sees his teammate coming in hard, flips it over to him, and Mike D makes a nice little nip. Well, fired back in, now Bedford's gonna clear the zone. There's a delayed offside with less than a minute left here in the, the first period. Now here's a break, here's a chance for, Bed uh, for Goffstown coming in on Tempesta, shot. They score. That's going to be number 12 for Gostown. Corey Caceres, the assistant captain, as he broke in on Tempesta and found the back of the net. Here with 39 seconds left here in the first period, Gostown able to cut the lead to 2-1. to one. Steve, what do we got? Well, it looked like Corey picked up that puck at the red line and just on a foot race, just out, outpaced one of the defenders, came in, made a, made a nice little move, had Tempesta... Very, very tight, very good, uh, very good games. Now Mabel fires it in, the Bedford end, taken by, out, in but not out, kept in by Gostown momentarily. And is going to try to gain control, loses it, and chipped up, centering pass, and a score. And that's what we talked about, Steve, letting Gostown hang into the game, and they get the equalizer here. I believe that's going to be number 23, Mason Mabel, is going to get the credit for the goal. He does, it is Mason Mabel, and that's going to tie the game here at two, two apiece with 9.56 left in the third. Steve, let's go to the replay and tell me what you saw. Well, it looked like a little bit of a sloppy exchange up at the blue line. Couldn't get the puck out of the zone. It allowed them to get that puck from the defenseman. Camera work, and our boss doing a great job here on the camera. Thanks, Mike. Uh, without him, uh, we would be nothing. That is for sure. As D battles, keeps it in. Still battling, two Gostown defenders. Now Velocian comes out with it. Top of the circle, shot save, rebound. Can't get a hold of it, and there's a goal. Nice little play, and Janess is gonna say he was in the crease, but the referee's not having anything to do with it, and they're gonna call it a goal. Let's go to the replay and tell me what you see, Steve. Well, that was a nice setup here by Mike D up at the blue line, getting that puck across, down deep. Uh, actually across to Velocian. Velocian uncontested at the slot, took a great shot. Ben Janess with a nice save. Off to, uh, off to uh, the, the young man that took that big hit from Dan Gregson. Up the boards, kept in by Bobro. Shifts it, but now delayed offside. Gosson's gonna clear while they're doing so, making a line change. Up the ice, kept in. Viola over to Boyd. 
Nice little play. Boyd still got it. Takes a shot. Oh. Score! Boy, that just snuck between his stick and his pad right there to make that game, uh, make the game two, four to two at the moment, Mike. Nice little play. Let's go to the replay, Steve, and explain what happened here. Well, that was a fantastic breakout. Uh, Drew Conley picks up the loose puck, and it was just a change from Goffstown getting off the ice. Chris Viola goes for the stretch pass. Rather than trying to carry it in the zone, just a nice little nifty move, gives it to Boyd. Boyd goes in and goes wide and just gets a nice shot on net for the goal. I'll tell you, when the, the moments ago we, we tied it up. Goff He's been giving Bedford fits all day along with uh, Caceres. A shot. Oh, that almost made the net there. Just wide of Janesse. Kept in by Bedford. A shot hit the glass over Looked the like head. That might have hit something and redirected up over the net. That was uh, that was going to be a high shot, but that was going to be on net. Well, Bedford put some more pressure on. There's Viola coming out in front. There's another goal. Nice little goal by Viola. Wow. That was a nice shot as he waited for Janessa to drop down and fire right over his shoulder. Well, that was a... Uh, a textbook, bring it out in front of the net. No one challenging him. Uh, the defender in front of the net had the man, so that was really just a one-on-one -on -one with him and the goalie. And he, as you said, Mike, he waited for him to drop down and just roofed it. If there was a water bottle, uh, I think that thing would have been uh, <laughs> shot up into the up into the netting. We'll go to the replay. We'll see what happened here. That's probably that's going to do it as the horn sounds. Well, a nice victory here for uh, the Bulldogs here, 5-2 to two win. Uh, unfortunately, we had to wait until the third period. I think that goal, that tying goal to make it 2-2, two to two, Mike, really uh, set the tone for the Bulldogs. Uh, the tying goal and then the big hit by Dan Gregson on, uh, on Griffin Barbaro, and, th and that was it, and it was all Bulldogs. After that, big hit in the corner, another big hit in the other corner, and it looked like uh, Goffstown sort of sat back a little bit longer and, and uh, was waiting for... Bedford to relax, and they just pressure, pressure, pressured, scored a quick goal, scored another quick goal, got that third goal to make it 5-2, to two, and just separated. It's a shame we had to wait till the late...